Good morning, you guys. Today's Monday. I just got to work. I washed my hair this morning and I slicked it down. So I had to do a durag. It doesn't look bad. My team is actually supposed to be in theater today. I don't really know if we have any patients booked because I didn't come to work on Friday. I actually need to start coming to this place earlier if I want to be finding parking space because finding parking this morning has been really stressful. I've also added a lot of weight. My scrubs are really tight and I don't know how I'm going to survive a full day in them, but we move. <laughs> I went to the theatre and apparently the only case we're supposed to have on Monday which is today the lady didn't show up on Friday so we're basically free um, now I'm just doing rounds for my patients you guys so my day is going nothing much is happening I'm done seeing all of my patients we have a new patient though he just came in he had a road traffic accident and he has a fracture so we've put a cast and I'm about to send him for an x-ray um and then when he gets the x-ray we'll actually see what's going on but nothing much for today i'm so happy that we didn't go to theater to be very honest because i was low-key dreading that and you guys my scrubs are so freaking tight like i don't know when i added this much weight but i need to lose it because even sitting down my thighs are literally taking over the scrubs like yeah it's really bad <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to wait here a bit, um, see if this patient can get the extra as soon as possible. Um, yeah, and then I'll probably go home because I'm really tired. Wow, presented with fractures. Emily, have you done a thorough function test for you? Okay. The results are okay. Is it because of the exophthalmos? Yes, it's obvious exophthalmos. Very mm. good. I heard that um, his mom's name is Ashake. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, my days. At some point, when you become a late comer, you just know where to go to find parking. <laughs> It's almost 10 o'clock. I woke up very late today, so I'm not even sure how I'm here. Like, I woke up by 9, and it's 10 now, and I'm at the hospital. Yay, me! Today's actually my clinic day, like my most busy day, really. We always see a lot of patients. That's why I'm already having coffee, because I need the energy. This magic lip gloss, it makes your lips so freaking pink. Like, I think I'm a fan. Let me finish my coffee. What is she still taking now? So just continue that on the screen. Yeah. Can't even lie, I'm not in the mood to be here today, but you move. <laughs> yes, I was supposed to walk. So I left work really early today because I want to go shopping with my sister. My sister is back on holiday from um, law school, my brother as well. And we don't really have a lot of like groceries in the house. Saturday's election, I don't want us to be like stuck without food. I'm not really sure what's going to happen. I'm honestly praying for the best with this election, you guys. So I left work very early. I finished seeing all of my patients. One of them was giving me issues, but 
<sighs> I just had to sort her out again and I begged her not to because I did something for her and she keeps taking it off like I don't really know what the issue is and she actually needs it so I've begged her not to do it again so that they don't call me to come back to the hospital because I don't want to uh, but yeah I've sorted her out and my sister and I were about to head to the store now to go get the things we need so yeah let's go no, say hi no, 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 hi. also while we're shopping you're not gonna say hi no Lara, do you know assignment you're doing your assignment how does that affect your face that, that affects me let's go can you just say hi hi like turn your face and say hi And I've literally just been indoors all day, you guys. Today is actually election day. It's a presidential election. And unfortunately, I'm not voting. And trust me, I've been online all day, like, just monitoring, like, everything about the election. And how, like, in some polling units, they've been unable to vote. And, like, how they've been unable to vote in some polling units. And apparently, it's rained today and everything. But, yeah, you guys, I wasn't able to vote because I was not able to get my PVC, um, like a bunch of other people. And I'm not even going to start going into the reason why I couldn't get my PVC. That's a story for another day. But, yeah, you guys, I'm really just home. All I've done today is eat. <laughs> I had acaran bread, like, earlier in the morning because that was just what I was feeling like. I woke up craving it. So, yeah, I made that. And I've pretty much just been in my bed, like, the rest of the day. I've, like, napped and woken back up and... I'm just chilling now you guys i'm watching this youtuber i just discovered let me show you so i'm watching this youtuber i just discovered her name is mimi j i'm absolutely like in love with her vlogs so let me pause this so yeah i've literally been binge watching her vlogs i have uh, my wine <laughs> here with me why won't you focus on my days you guys my camera is a mess but yeah i have a glass of wine i mixed it with a bit of juice actually so yeah you guys that's really just the vibe for today i've really just been chilling i haven't really done anything to be honest i haven't even showered as well i've just been lounging on my bed i absolutely love this babe's like videos like she's so chill she's so like i don't know she just gives me very light-hearted positive energy vibes and she loves coffee just like me and i always just love finding people online that like love coffee as much as i do so i'm just gonna continue staying in bed and like just continue binging her vlogs until i figure out something else to do to be very honest i'm just having a very chill lazy weekend and i love it Monday morning. I feel like my vlogs are gonna become so redundant. 
because it's just me going to work i went to the other parking lot that i usually park at and it was full and something similar happened last week where i got there and it was full and i basically had to like stay at the gate waiting for minutes for like someone to come out then they would let me in today i went there and like there are two maybe three cars already waiting at the gate for like parking space and i was like i'm not about to do this honestly there's actually a staff like parking lot i just don't come here because i come very late but most times the place is full but today i just came and they don't even know my face yet because obviously i'm new and i haven't really been parking here so the man was like are you a staff i'm like yes i got i'd be staff i'm a copa <laughs> and then he was like okay because i don't know your face but sure he has helped me park and i'm so happy that i left the other parking lot and just came straight here because honestly that place is the ghetto anyways today is monday we're supposed to be in theater we have one child that we're supposed to take in for like a skin grafting procedure um he has some burns that he suffered at home but i'm not really sure nobody has called me i'm not sure what's really going on so i just want to quickly get into the hospital um check up on my patients and then go to theater to see if our procedure is still holding so yeah that's pretty much it i'm not excited for a new week but we move help Babylon. If you bring it like this to theater, they will not it's collect it's this. It's <laughs> it's yeah, yeah. Yeah. They have them. I understand. I I just finished my procedure. Uh, I'm just going to the ward now so I can update the post up order and hopefully I can go and eat. I am so freaking hungry, honestly. Like, today's the one day that I didn't eat and it's killing me. <laughs> You guys, I've lost my voice. I'm go to work today because that's the vibe. It's not the vibe, my colleagues are about to go on strike. So yeah, this is like the beginning process. But I just got to BDC, I want to quickly change some money. It's not my money actually. Before you see this girl is always spending in dollars. <laughs> I'm done from the BDC. Pray that road safety does not catch me. I'm just vlogging. Please. Um, yeah, I just finished changing money. And I really love that place. I don't think I've put you guys on before. But the name is 313 BDC. If you live in Abuja, you should definitely check them out. They operate just like a bank. And the main reason I actually started going there was because of Olivia. They have some of the best rates. Like, trust me, their rates are way better than those men outside. Road safety is usually here. Hold on. I was saying I really like them because their rates are usually very very good like I prefer to just go in there hear that okay dollar is like today's dollar was 750 if I'd gone like to those guys on the side of the road that I probably tried to start from like 730 then I start arguing and like haggling and bargaining and stuff like that and honestly I just don't like that life anymore I just like to go to 313 it's a very straightforward and like seamless process so yeah I'm just gonna head back home but before that, there's some things I want to get. There's this mad chicken to here in Abuja, you guys. I don't think I've put you guys on either. So I'm going to go to their branch in Grandpa and probably get chicken to here. Um, and then get something else to eat because I haven't eaten today. And then I'll head back home. Guys, there's no chicken to here. I could literally cry. Oh my day. You guys. I look crazy. Is this how I look? <laughs> Anyways, I'm in camp, NYC camp. Today was basically uh like biometrics or whatever. You have to stamp print like every month to show that you're actually around. One day I'll tell this my NYC story because I honestly can't believe I'm actually doing this shit. But yeah, I'm in camp. 
I never stayed though. I got an exit and I left on the very first day. <laughs> I'm done with my clearance. I'm so happy. I'm cleared for March. Seeing the month's show presents just makes me happy. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm done and I'm going home because I'm tired as fuck. Guys, happy Thursday. I haven't exactly vlogged today um, and happy new month. Yesterday when I got home, I was like, wait a minute. Today is actually March 1st. It's actually my birthday month, you guys, and I forgot. I was so preoccupied with like, getting my clearance and my whole like biometric stuff done yesterday that I completely forgot. Also, I'm getting very, very old. The age I'm turning this year is not even funny. I don't want to remember it. I don't want to think about it. So yeah it's thursday and i didn't go to work i don't know if i mentioned but you guys my colleagues and my hustle are trying to go on strike um but anyways we have a meeting with the hustle management tomorrow to discuss the entire thing so we can kind of get it sorted out hopefully or hopefully not because <laughs> i've actually enjoyed my week away from work i only worked on monday I'm literally about to head out with my baby brother i want to buy suya and a couple of things from the store um, I washed my hair today you guys and I did like a little you know wash and go situation I was getting tired of the wigs and it was starting to affect my edges like because every time I would stick them down I want to yank it off it would just be a mess and I'm like hmm this must be why you people don't have edges you are always wearing frontals and stuff I honestly yeah I it's clear it's very clear right now that that's why you guys don't have edges but anyways i'm about to head out of the house i just thought to say hi to you guys and hope everyone's having a nice day i hope everyone is doing good yes tinubu is our president i don't even want to talk about it honestly i'm trying to just not think about that to be very honest so yeah let's head out what's up you guys <laughs> Should I wear my glasses or should I take it off? Anyways, hey you guys, so today is Friday and I just got back home. Um, I went for the meeting at my hospital that I told you guys about and honestly it was just a mess. Like, gosh, medical practice in Nigeria is so freaking toxic. Like, it's crazy how a cycle starts and nobody thinks it's time to like stop it. But basically, some people at my work have been there for about six months and they've not gotten paid. And you guys know how like this is basically youth service. So the government pays you 33,000. I'm actually going to be very plain about the salary and everything because a lot of people don't talk about this, but government pays you an allowance of 33,000 Naira every month, which is about Honestly, it's under $50, maybe about $40 or something like that. But yeah, the government pays you that. And then because we are doctors working in like a government hospital or whatever, the government's supposed to pay us an additional $75,000, making it about a hundred and something K that you receive monthly. That particular guy, he hasn't gotten his pay for the past six months, meaning he's only been living on 33K a a month that's what we're basically trying to explain to them that we're not like regular coppers that work like nine to two or nine to one a lot of people work in ppas where their work is very flexible but we are doctors we have to work every single day weekends inclusive you can be on call on saturday sunday it really doesn't matter the particular hustle we're working in is short staffed so we're basically the only ones doing all of the work at first they were being very like political about it not really trying to listen to us but then someone was like i don't like how you're dismissing everything we're saying and i'm just very proud because most of the people that, like like I'm working with right now they didn't train in Nigeria and I feel like that's different between those of us who didn't train in Nigeria and people who did and I can say this because I've worked in another hospital during my house job but most of the people who train in Nigeria they're always very timid they don't know how to speak up and like fight for their rights and things like that I'm very happy with the group of guys and the girl that I'm with I feel like almost all of us didn't train in Nigeria so we're a bit more like outspoken we're able to tell the man like look it doesn't make sense why should I be on call 32 hours and still come to work the next day as a copper earning only 33,000 like it doesn't make any sense but um, I honestly wish like you guys know I did my house job at National Hospital those of you that were able to decipher I honestly miss the setup of National Hospital because they had residents here there are no residents there's nobody so it's just you and a consultant you're basically the registrar the senior registrar you're everything like a lot of the times the patients are really in your hands because consultants cannot be there every day so you are basically the only doctor on ground you are doing all of the work covering like places you shouldn't even be covering and they are talking about oh they can't pay they can't give you people are even asking for like a little stipend something for transportation because 
because like in a month you're spending more than 33,000 even transporting yourself to the hospital and they ought to give us accommodation but they don't Nigeria is honestly just a mess you guys like for me I can't even lie I've completely given up on this country that's why this election I was very quiet because I didn't even I'm like I, I'm just gonna be honest I didn't even care who won because <laughs> for me my next goal in life is how I'm going to leave this country I just I've lost every atom of hope I've lost every atom of like my passion is completely dead when it even comes practicing medicine because today after that meeting I was just like oh so this is how they are going to be treating us for us to be telling you as hospital management like look at how we're struggling we're not getting paid to even come to work is an issue for us and you're just basically dismissing what everybody's saying for me that's just ridiculous but yeah you guys my gas is completely low I was actually going to go to um so I was actually going to go to FCTA from the hospital because I have like some clearance things to do there as well um, But yeah, I don't have any gas and the queue at the gas station I just saw is literally getting to the road. It's so freaking long and today is Friday So I honestly think I'm just gonna postpone everything till Monday It's really pissing me off because I already packed a bag I thought I was gonna go study somewhere or just sit at a cafe and like do some work and study and stuff but yeah, I don't really think that's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna stay home the rest of the day pretty much and I'll probably just work from home. I have some videos I wanna get up this weekend, so I just wanna work on those. Um and then I have like personal stuff I need to study for and like uh, make plans and things like that for so yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna do. I hope you guys are doing okay though. You guys, my hair looks so freaking good. Like, I'm so happy I decided to do a wash and go. I really like missed wearing my natural hair out and it's just giving everything I was supposed to give. I'm so excited. But yeah, you guys, just wanted to update you guys on my bloody meeting at the hospital. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> guys good morning so today is monday i didn't vlog much through the weekend because you guys see my period started and my mood has been very very like off i don't think people talk enough about how pms really just like fucks with your mood friends say that it gets worse the older you're getting because your body's trying to like force you into having children because it's like frustrating you with all of the period symptoms or whatever and i think i have to agree but anyways my period started i think on friday and my mood was just very very off and then saturday sunday i was having really bad cramps my appetite was really really shit my appetite is always shit during my period like i haven't eaten properly in the last like two days i've just been having fluids so i'm really like yeah i'm really just tired and not in the mood this is monday and i want to end this vlog <laughs> i'm not sure how much footage i've gotten so far but i really hope that it'll be enough to make a full vlog um so i can start a new one this week but yeah i'm actually going to go to work today but first i want to go to fcta i'm actually wearing my khaki underneath i want to go get the clearance sleep for this month because i didn't get it yet and then i'll go back to the hospital but right now i'm just parked somewhere waiting for one of my colleagues she asked to follow me so that we can just do it together so i'm waiting for her to come and meet me so that we can go also needs to buy fuel you guys my tank my gas tank is already like on the light is already on i just tried to price black market with someone they said three five or ten liters but the guy said he doesn't have an account that I should give him cash. And I don't know where he wants me to get cash from because I haven't touched cash in months. So that's just very funny. I don't know how we're going to transport ourselves there <laughs> if I'm not able to buy for. Hmm. I really just hope that when we drive up the express a little bit, I find someone that's willing to take transfer so that I can buy. But yeah, you guys, really hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Um, I don't want it to drag too much longer, so I can start another one maybe later today or tomorrow. Um, please, you guys, don't forget to share to all of your friends that you think will enjoy this. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And leave me a sweet comment down below. A lot of you guys watch and don't comment. Please leave me a comment so I can know that you're actually enjoying the vlogs. Because if people don't comment and people don't engage, then I'll feel 
feel like i'm just putting out vlogs for myself and eventually i will stop so please if you guys want to keep seeing the vlogs please share them please like them and please leave me a comment down below and yeah i will see you guys in my next video look at me trying to get my mood up to end the video <laughs> fake life oh my days because i'm actually not feeling good right now but yeah i don't want to end the video being like um sad or whatever so yeah you guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye